All right, now for something different. Uh, what we have here is a slightly different looking uh, prescription, uh, but we've got quite a, a large amount of fluid to be given, uh, and if you have that sort of amount, in that, this case 500 mils, uh, to be given over six hours, you're thinking that this will uh, come supplied to you in, in, in some sort of large bag. And sure enough, if your 500 mil is there, you can look across and see that, yes, this has to be given over six hours. So this is your simple calculation. You're just trying to work out how many six hours go into 500 mils. So this is how you set it out, really, and this is easy stuff. You'll love this. It is simply 500 divided by 6. It's a pump, it's not a drip. So your answer will be in mils per hour. That's what we're looking for. So in a way you've got to imagine a, a, a sort of bag of fluid, uh, a bit like this, um, and say, well, this has got 500 mils in it. And what you're trying to do is divide this up into sort of hourly intervals like this, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of these uh, is an hour's worth. So you're trying to see how many sixes go into 500, and we can probably get that answer very shortly. So this is all we're doing. Quickest way might might be if you want to use smaller numbers is just half the two why not half of six is three and, and half of 500 is 250 but there's nothing wrong at all uh, in your dividing six into 500 i just like smaller numbers so here we go straight away again remember to divide upwards so we've got three into uh, 250 250.0 point naught, just in case put the decimal point above make sure it's in line uh, <coughs> three is into two, obviously you won't go. Three sevens are twenty-one. Three eights are twenty-four, which gives us one over. Threes into ten will go three, and that's nine. So guess what? There's another one left over, and this could go on uh, until late into the evening. Eighty-three point three 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 three. So, but at least we know what that value was in there. Now we know that that was. 83 odd and you take it to the nearest round figure that's if that was five or five or more then you take it up to 84 but as it is it's 83.3 that's less than five so we can say it's 83 mils per hour so for every hour passes 83 mils will go through and that will be our answer and don't forget again to put the units in mils per hour. And that's our rate at which the pump will dispense the fluid and that's the number you press in on the front of the pump.